Even though Tom Brady's retired from the NFL, supposedly it's for real this time, it doesn't mean that he's not still susceptible to attacks from the cancel culture mob because Tom Brady gave his take about Super Bowl halftime shows in light of what we saw with Rihanna at this Super Bowl halftime show. And of course, he got asked about a very famous halftime show that he happened to be a part of when the Patriots played the Carolina Panthers, when Janet Jackson and Justin Timberlake had the infamous wardrobe malfunction. Well, Tom Brady gave a take on that. And while giving this take, he has now fallen under attack from a lot of people who are pissed that he would speak this way about something that was so horrifying to Janet Jackson. Tom Brady says Janet Jackson's wardrobe malfunction at the 2004 Super Bowl was, quote, Probably a good thing for the NFL, it was more publicity. Now, in a lot of these quotes and things like this, especially in the headline, he's not saying it was a good thing for Janet Jackson. He's not saying it would probably help her out or help her career. Uh, he said it was a good thing for the NFL. Everything that happened likely helped the NFL with more eyes wanting to be on halftime show because who knows what could happen. But what now everyone's getting caught up in is that he was he was not respectful enough to what Janet went through. And yeah, Janet Jackson went through a lot of shit over this. More so than Justin Timberlake did, that's for sure. But this is what people are now saying about Tom Brady. Tom Brady's facing intense backlash over his superficial and shallow comment about Justin Timberlake and Janet Jackson's infamous halftime moment at the 2004 Super Bowl. And of course, I, I hate the fact that I'm on fucking BuzzFeed right now, but it has a couple tweets that I really wanted to use. We all remember what happened with Justin Timberlake with Janet Jackson. And now because of Tom Brady's sentiments that, yeah, uh, this was probably overall a good thing for the NFL. Not for Janet, not for anybody else, but it was probably a good thing for the NFL. But in spite of all this, Tom Brady, who played for the New England Patriots in 2004, has now suggested the entire incident was probably a good thing. Half this article is talking about the trauma that Janet Jackson underwent, how uh, you know it was so terrible and damaging for her career and reputation and all that stuff. Speaking with uh, about the performance during a recent episode of his podcast with Larry Fitzgerald and Jim, Jim Gray, Tom, whose team beat the Carolina Panthers that year, firstly recalled the moment he found out about what happened on stage. I didn't see much. Even I remember when we beat Carolina, we came off the field, and that was when we had the wardrobe malfunction with Justin Timberlake and Janet Jackson. The media was asking me about it. I couldn't even understand what they were telling me about. They said, did you see the halftime show? I said, I didn't see anything. I was thinking about the game, he added, uh, and then said it took a while for him to figure out what had actually happened. Tom went on to suggest that because the incident gave the NFL more publicity, it was beneficial. I think in the end, it was probably a good thing for the NFL because everybody got to talk about it. It was just more publicity and more publicity for the halftime shows. Is any publicity bad publicity? That's what they say, so who knows? Well, I think you know that bad publicity can be very bad. It just depends on who it's targeted towards. We've even seen Tom Brady has some bad publicity at times that didn't work out well for him. Uh, but now some people on social media are very upset at Tom Brady over these comments. I don't think he understands the amount of shit she went through after that backlash. That comment was too superficial and shallow. It wasn't a great thing because it scarred Janet for life, especially it affected her career as well. Look at, I don't know if this person just you was typoing and didn't care if you are literally an illiterate human being, but hey, whatever. Um, question marks? He should be ashamed for treating Janet's trauma like that. He didn't say it was a good thing for Janet Jackson. He was talking about the NFL. And if the entire situation was a good thing for the NFL, it's not like he was saying this was a positive thing for Janet Jackson. It was a good thing for her. Nothing like that. He's talking about the NFL. Oh, or he sees a black woman's career being sidelined as a minor casualty for the sake of the NFL. So a black woman's career and reputation is damaged. She was taunted for a number of years by the mainstream media. But you know what? It was good for the NFL. Clearly, too many knocks to the head. Like, Janet Jackson faced public humiliation outright. Massage noir, yes, okay. Sexism and racism, these fucking people. Uh, resulting in her getting backlash by the former CEO of CBS. But Tom Brady thinks it was all okay, because all publicity is good publicity. Sick. Like, they are taking his comments so out of context and hyperbolizing everything, which I guess isn't a surprise for a lot of these actually retarded people on the internet. Let me know what you think about this in the comments section below. Is anything wrong with Tom Brady's comments? Is he wrong that maybe what happened, even though it could have been detrimental to people's careers, was likely a good thing overall for the NFL and for Super Bowl viewership and things like that? Let me know in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.